hello friends Tony here welcome uh, in this video I'm going to show you an example how we can uh, validate the array for this I have created project and here I have an example with posts and topics we're going to use uh, multi select for this example now if I go to create post I have added here a simple form with title content and here we have a multi select with some topics uh, also we can click on the title here and update the same form it's a dip different file but just we have a title content and here we have as you can see is the selected topics here good so we can go and create a new topic for example let's say something here something here and let's just select one topic create okay right now we don't have validation uh, let's show you also the code and we're going to start with the post model passing here the protected fillable title content and then uh, public function topics belongs to many topic class here now as you can see i have uh, used here in this example the light theme for the vs code now if you like this you can uh, comment on the video if you don't like also you can comment and in the next one where i'm going to change the theme to dark okay topic here the same thing protocol fillable and then the post belongs to many relationship on the post controller on the index get all the posts and pass in here then on the create i say the assign topics to assign the topic all and inject it on the view post post create request only the title and the content but as you can see i don't have a validation right now and also i say topics topic where in id request topics i'm going to get topics based on the id we select here and then post topics attach passing the topics here okay on the edit the same thing get all the topics and pass it here and on the update also the same thing post update request only title the content also here we don't have validation we're going to work with this and say post topics sync request topics okay that's it for this example now let's start and work with the validation first i'm going to go on the create on the store here and we can say uh, for example yeah request validate title content and topics to be required as you can see topics here oh, let's save it and let's go to edit blade or the create blade let's go to create blade and here we have the example of a form method post action route post store nothing fancy here just adding label and the input also the error for title for the content what we focused is what we need to focus is this select select a topic select id topics and name topics on empty array because this is going to be an array of topics and then here i make for each topics as a topic and option with value topic id also check if in array topic id old we're using also old here topics and an empty array we're going to be selected and and if and then display the topic name and we have something like this i think we are on the create yeah we are on the create good now because we added on the post controller this validate if we type something here and select here let's say create post yeah we have the title field is required okay let's see if uh, if i refresh and just uh, add the title add something here but i'm not going to select a topic create a post now the topics field is required very good if I refresh, uh, type something, something, I'm going to select a topic, create, 
and now we created a topic okay now let's see the validation more in depth not only the required required so for example for the title we can say uh, not only required but the title is going to be string and max 255 also for the content let's add something here let's say this is going to be a string for the content and we can add also uh, mean length not man, max but mean to be uh, 5 for example or 30 now let's work with the topics this is also our topic for today we need to be this is topics is going to be required but also it need to be an array and we can add also here the minimum of uh, how many topics we want so for example instead of min one let's say min two i'm going to save and let's come here and refresh go to create post add something add something here i'm going to select only one topic if i say create a post oh yeah we have here min value and i've left with this so min uh, let's say 30. okay let's go here and let's say create a post now the post topics must have at least two items here also we are going to work with the request and customize this uh, message but now if i choose two of them so you see we have two and say create a post now the content field must be at least 30 characters and let add just the gibberish here and let's say create a post and now we created a post okay good now let's go back and instead of 30 i'm going to change that to 5 for example because i don't want to write too many okay what is next is to validate because for example so this is similarly but for example if we have a hack who sent us an array with uh, ids that is not in, in our uh, topic uh, database let's validate also that let's say uh, topics dot star here exists in topics id we are okay otherwise i have to throw out an error also we can uh, validate more here we can say here this is need to be an integer and of course we're going to say it's going to be distinct for uh, not duplication so if we have a topic which has the id one we don't need to select to send again that id here and uh, let's say required again and i think we are okay so topics required array and this is how we can uh, validate the arrays first we say required an array on the topics so for the this name okay this is for that name and this topics dot star which mean for every option we select topic one or topic two that is going to be first is is going to check if exists in topics database in the id field also it's going to say we need integer distinct for not duplication and required and now we have the false validation let's go and go to post and let's say create and just see if we select one say create a post yeah must have two select two or three create a post and now we are okay let's work with the update now okay let's copy this and do the same thing on the update scroll down here paste that in let's save let's go back select this one so if i 
just select one topic and say update we have the error here if i select two update we update it okay so also we have the validation uh, let me just run the npm run dev because we are not seeing the errors to be read okay i think we are good now instead of uh, this we can work with uh, on the edit so i have added this if st if statement but we have a blade directive a helper here so instead of this if we can use the selected selected and say in array topic id old topics pass in the post topics plug the id to array and this is going to work we are on the edit okay let's save and let's see let's come here refresh let's say i want to select only one click update now we have also red here let's zoom it like this yeah we can select two and now say update is going to update okay so also you can use this one if you prefer or that if statement the same thing we can do on the create so instead of this if statement here we can use the selected in array topic id and also old topics which is the same so we can go here type something type something select only one say create post we have the error here if i select two posts uh, two topics sorry and create a post now we are okay okay now if you like this topic all okay if you don't prefer this but prefer to work with the book and only the name and the id we are on the edit the same thing let's do also for the create so instead of all we can use book name and the id and now we need to update this because it's not going to work so let's just show you if i come here yeah let's go on the create first and here instead of uh, for each topics as topic we can say for each topic as a uh, topic id and also topic name i'm going to say but you can uh, choose your one here i'm going to say topic id here and also the same thing here so topic id okay and for the name the same thing so topic name i'm going to save and now let's come here refresh everything works we're on the create we can select one create a post we have an error if i select two uh, topics again my mistake create a post and now we are good let's do the same thing on the edit because it's not going to work if i come here yeah we have that error so on the edit the same thing as topic id topic name and update also this one would be topic id topic id here and name here save now we are okay so select only one topic update we have that error now let's work with the uh, Errors. So I'm going to customize the errors. For that, I have created. A, let's open the post resource, post create resource, and I'm going to use this for both. So here I have authorized return true, and then we have rules here. So the same rules: title required, content required, uh, topics required array min true and topics dot star required existing topics id and also to be integer but i have customized the messages so for the title required i have said here title is required for the content required content is required now for the topics required here so we have topics required and let me just refresh If I haven't select any here and say update, we have the topics field is required. Now let's use this request and it's going to say please select a topic, okay? Which I think is more okay. 
So let's go to post controller and on the store, I'm going to say uh, post store request. I think we have that. Yep, yeah, sorry, post create request. Create request and the same thing on the update instead of the request, the default one. Post create request. Let's save this and let's come here. Just keep in mind for this one, instead of this error, refresh. And now let's say update. We have please select a topic. Now uh, let's go back and let's see. Also here I set topics.min for this uh, minimum of two. Here I said please select at least colon minimum we send uh, return the value of what we put here. Please select for example right now it's going to say please select at least two topics and let's see let's go here and refresh. I'm going to select only one say update and set here please select at least two topics. The same thing here for the distinct. And that's it all about this video what I wanted to show you friends how we can work with the validation on the arrays but also how we can customize the message how we can work with that uh, multi-select we can use also the select blade directive and of course how to if you want to use plug or just all method now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and of course, see you in the next one. And don't forget to uh, comment about the VS Code theme, if you like the light or dark theme. Thank you very much, friends.